What's going on guys, I'm Kyle and this is Josh from Colossus Fitness and today we're gonna go over five common unknown training mistakes a lot of people are making in the gym. Let's jump right into it. Number one um, is only using cardio equipment. At the start, obviously the gym's a very scary place. You know, you go in, you see all these dudes smashing around weights, screaming, grunting, all fired up. Three, four, and it can be really scary. So a lot of people kind of cling to what's easier to them and that's like treadmills, ellipticals, things like that. And these are great mechanisms to improve your cardiovascular system, get your heart strength up, help with blood pressure, all these fantastic benefits. But if your goal is to significantly improve your physique and your body composition, the cardio machines are not gonna be your number one tool. They can be an, um, an accessory to that main goal, but they aren't gonna be the number one thing. The reason for this is cardio is gonna burn calories, that's about it. It won't change your body composition as much as lifting will. For instance, if I'm doing curls, I'm specifically working and challenging that specific muscle, that is the bicep. If I'm doing chest, I'm working on my chest. And we can actually shape and change our body composition, put on muscle, burn more um, calories throughout the day, and still get the benefits of that. And if you're just doing cardio, you're just kind of, you know, doing work on your output of calories and not so much changing that body comp, which is gonna get you that physique benefit you want. And this is the number one reason a lot of people go when they're kind of skinny fat, they do a lot of cardio, that's about it. They don't work on their body composition or muscular strength. And because of that, they're completely just in this little loophole where they just, they burn the calories and usually it just cause people to eat more and it's just this weird cyclical mechanism that just kind of makes you look kind of odd. Numero de, as the French would say, is um, just not having a purpose for your workout. So, when you went to school, you Usually you had classes, you had math, science, English, etc. You didn't just walk in, hop on a computer, go to Google, smack, I'm feeling lucky, and just start learning about the world. Um, you can learn that way, but it's gonna be all over the place, and usually you need build up and development, and that's why even in the school system, you know, you have grades, you graduate the grade, and you move on to the next thing. The gym is very similar. So you're gonna have a routine that's gonna support your ultimate goal, muscle gain, um, cardiovascular endurance, um, just general strength, strength for sport, etc. So you need to come in knowing that what you're doing in the gym is gonna to aid this goal. If I want to be a fighter, I'm not going to be wanting coming in doing really slow, concentric, slow, eccentric curls all day because that's just going to make me slow. It's not going to develop my craft. You got to work to do that craft that you want to do or work towards that ultimate goal and get that result essentially. So no matter what it is, you need to shape something and have a routine that directly feeds into that. You can't just come in and do a little bit of whatever just because you saw it on TV and try to make sure that it has a purpose and that will actually get you to your end result. And number three, a lot of people don't have this, but you've got to have a preventative mind Set. And this is a mistake I've made in the past and I want to make sure you guys avoid making this huge mistake. So a couple years ago I just always pressed and I never worked on those smaller muscle groups and these are extremely important. I see a lot of bros making the mistake and what happened was over time my rotator cuff just started to give out. I dropped a dumbbell and I just essentially hurt my shoulder. So you've got to really make sure you're focusing on these smaller muscle groups that you don't necessarily see. You know you don't want to just always focus on the chest, the rotator cuff. You want to come in and make sure you're rolling out on a lacrosse ball you know for your glutes you know working on your hip flexors and these are things that are gonna help you out down the road and make sure that you're able to stay in the gym and progress accurately every single day and number four I, I strongly believe this is holding many 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 people back from seeing the results they want is just going through the motions and not getting proper contractions and proper squeezes far too many times people are just doing every single exercise and they're just rushing through it's like they're just trying to run out of the gym and just leave like they're not actually squeezing those muscles they're not controlling controlling it on the way up. And another thing is improper form, and this is just far too often people are doing, you know, every single exercise with like a hunchback or just, you know, with way too much weight than they can handle. And that's why we have a excellent form guide that you can click first link in the description and this will help you go through all of those exercises and do it safely so you can stay in the gym and see better results. Number five common mistake is not asking for help. I'm a firm believer that everyone does need some type of guidance, whether it's coaching or just someone to show them an exercise. And a lot of people in the gym actually aren't out to get you we're here to help you so if there's a personal trainer in the gym or just someone who looks like they can show you an exercise or give you any tips that will help you get to the next level you know by all means make sure to ask them and as well as you know hiring someone for a personal trainer or uh, an online coach don't be afraid to reach out you know we've got an excellent coaching service and we'd love to work with you guys so click that first link in the description or sorry I believe it'll be the second link and uh, and then join our program because we would love to help every single one of you reach your goals that's why we make these videos don't think you're too cool or you're you know better than everyone else and if you do need help reach out so 
That's it guys, hopefully you enjoyed these five tips. Like I said guys, form guide in the description as well as our coaching service. Subscribe if you haven't already and share this with a friend because far too many people are making these mistakes. So uh, yeah, that's it, we'll see you in the next video.